Hello there, amazing beings. It's a beautiful day. And uh, here in Chicago, it's sunny out there, but it's actually cold. Right now, it's how many degrees? 30 degrees out there. It's sunny. Yeah, not a bad, not really bad. Way better than last week. Last week, we had lots of snow, over 10 inch, and it was really hard to get out there. So thankful for this day grateful to be here and for this video hope you're having an amazing week and um just rocking it in the things that matter to you so today let's talk more about authenticity and uh which is still about you know improving that relationship with ourselves we want to be us we just don't want to do things, you know, to because we don't feel like we want to be ourselves. We want to be the same person when we are indoors just by ourselves in a room and still be that same person when we are out there with others. So in this light, I think we do have like many cultures in the world. And it is these many different, you know, the varieties of this culture that makes the beauty of uh, our blue planet. And being able to carry on, you know, walk around and acknowledging where we come from, our agriculture, the type of foods we eat, the things that we wear, is so important and makes us really, you know, it gives us confidence in the light of really knowing who we are and embracing that which we are and even more. One thing I have noticed, you know, um, is that sometimes uh, when people even travel or they go out of country, like I've noticed many moving from Africa, going to France, speaking at a time, they feel like they have to speak like the French. They change the accent. They just, and sometimes we say it in, in, uh, in French, they say it what is. Like they just want to be that, you know, speaking in a way that uh, the French people speak. And it's kind of like you forget how you used to speak. You just want to fit in. And I'm not saying that um, you cannot be in an environment and be, you know, sometimes you can be influenced, you know, because that's where you've been for a long time and you express yourself like that. Or in some ways you tend to talk a little bit like that. But when we get to the point where we just don't want to identify with where we come from or from our very culture. That becomes very difficult to want to be like someone else. But embracing ourselves and being ourselves even gives us more beauty. And is the same goes with some of the foods that we eat uh, in Africa. Like from I come from Cameroon, and in Cameroon that we have so many different kinds of foods because there are so many tribes with their different you know specialties and it's just amazing you know having to taste or to have a taste of all of this so it's the culture that Cameroon is so rich or Africa in general and many other cultures but I'm talking about what I know very so very, there's so much rich in the different kinds of foods that we have around us for example we have something like really um uh from the southwest of Cameroon and it's waterfufu and aero and mostly those from Nigeria, they call, you know, the fufu that we use to eat the soup or the arrow. It's of, they call it swallow. So it's like um, at, in Cameroon, it's actually cassava that has been fermented and has been, you know, grind. And it's when you, when you, when you cook it, you know, you cook it in hot water and it becomes this paste that you cut and you, you know, you roll it with your finger and then you put it in the soup and you eat with your hand. But mostly some people, you know, People feel like, oh, maybe you know, right here in the United States, you serve somebody that and they feel like they need to eat it with a fork. Never in my life I have really seen anybody trying to eat that with a fork. And I feel like, do you really need to do all that? Just be you. Enjoy your food. You don't need to, you know, it is you who give the beauty of whatever it you wherever you come from from the food the foods that you eat you are the person to give value to it to make other people love it first and then when they see the way you're eating it and the way you acknowledging that particular time and that moment and really just honing into it and eat it the way it is eating it is so beautiful so when i see like people just behave like oh i can't eat it like this or they're trying to use a spoon or they're just trying to use fork just like we have traditional dishes like um or even a 
that we use. This is also one of the uh, from the Southwest. And there are also some from the Western and the Northwest province, which is Achu, where people are still using hand, you know, to, to eat the yellow soup. People are using hand, but some people just want to use a spoon or you want to use the fork. But back home, you would not see that. You don't see, you don't see it like that. Or people have gone maybe to towns. You want to behave now like, you know, you can, you're unable to really embrace your culture. And that makes, that is what really shows that we are, in some ways, there is low self-esteem because we are not able to express ourselves in an authentic way. We do something somewhere else. And then when we find ourselves in an environment, we feel like we're going to be judged. But how does that even matter? Just like people go to a restaurant. First of all, when I was in Cameroon, it was like people go to a restaurant. If you buy your food and then you eat and there is the rest of it and you take the rest home, you know, people they will feel like, oh my God, you are so stingy. You can't even leave that food or throw it away. It's my hard earned money and I want to take my food home. And this now looks like, oh, it is not, um, I'm being too cheap. But when somebody like um, somebody of a different color, they come from France or something like that from Europe or from the United States, and then you get the, eat their food and then they take the rest of their food home. They're like, oh no, he's so simple. You see, it's like you have different words for different people for the same action. Who says that I'm not, I can be also simple. Or who says that a person is not also be like, okay, you know, you're just being stingy or too cheap or whatever. It's his hard earned money. He's bought the food. He has the authority to do with his food what he wants to do with the rest of his food. If he likes to want to take it home, let him take it home. And I just, it's just something that I felt like bringing this up because we tend to judge people in certain ways and, in, you know, certain people, certain class of people. And then when it, other people, there is a different answer. And there are many other examples like this. I like to sit down and eat my fufu with my finger. I like to sit down and acknowledge this food and eat it as I've never eaten before and be like, whoo, I'm having the best time of my life because I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy and acknowledge this culture or this place that I came from. I want to look back, you know, eat that and remember my childhood, all those beautiful moments that I did enjoy, why I was enjoying this food. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, be authentic, be yourself. Because in any case, something's going to be said. And if you want to sit down and think about what someone was going to say or whatever about your food or whatever, you are wasting your time. Be you. Because it is that you that always shines. It is that you. If you love yourself and you're ready to put yourself out there just the way you are in your authenticity without thinking about what any other person is saying about you, I think that's the beauty of everything honoring your core values, the things that really matter to you and be you so you can give yourself that power to be you in many other areas of your life and help other people see the beauty in the things that really matter to you. So have an amazing day and I hope you stay authentic to yourself, to the things that you, know, you do and to many, many others. Have a beautiful, marvelous and great day ahead. And do not forget, I assist on certain overwhelmed, stressed, unfulfilled men and women who have deep longings to find clarity, design, and create the life they absolutely love living, trusting in the power that breathes them and working with it. Take care and bye for now.